Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today we're going to turn Angelique. Now this piece of Angelique is three inches square by 12 inches and we're going to be spinning a somewhere around 11 inch goblet with captured rings. So that's what we're going to be working on and I'll talk to you about how I have this mounted here. Um, I did something a little bit different so we'll look at that here shortly but Stick around and let's jump into this project. Okay, so before we get started on this, I just want to talk to you for a minute about how I have this mounted here. Now, what I ended up doing is using a faceplate that had a worm screw built into it. And so I drilled um, about an inch hole here and, you know, screwed this on with the tailstock, you know, up against it as I was screwing it. I kept moving it just so that it would stay nice and level and balanced. So as I'm turning this round, um, you know, it's gonna stay balanced and that's gonna make a big difference later on when we're working with, you know, the goblet and the stem and so on. Oh, and I did wanna mention that I am wearing face protection, as you can see here. I, I do have a trend uh, air shield on and that's blowing air around my face. Um, and also protecting me from any dust. Now, keep in mind also that um, Angelique has silica in the wood itself. So there's two things that's gonna happen there. Number one, it's gonna dull your blades a lot quicker, and it's also going to you know, be a little toxic. So I would just, you know, if you're working with this wood, make sure that um, you know, you're wearing face protection and you have filtration going on in your shop. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is set the length of the actual goblet itself. So I'm going to use my uh, Easy Wood Tools detailer to set my lines.
Okay, so I just took the tape off of the rings and I sanded all of this all the way up to 400 grit. Um, it's in good shape and I don't think we need to do anything else to this. This is uh, ready, you know, to um, have finish put on it actually. So I'm going to, got a couple little things I need to address that's here uh, that I see a couple little things here I need to take care of and I'm going to do that and then we'll continue. Uh, the next little section I'm going to do is work on these rings and get them sanded and shaped um, so I can get them out of the way and I can finish the bottom. Okay, so I just want to talk to you for a second about 
uh, what we're getting ready to do, uh, we're going to start working with um, these rings, and I'm going to use my Master Carver Micro Pro, and I'm just using a little carbide tip. You can see it right there. And what I'm going to do is just basically, you know, just round this out. In, well, you can't see it with my hand in front of it, can you? I'm just going to round this out uh, in here just to, you know, get everything nice and shaped. And we'll do the same thing up here. And I've got different ones that I can use to basically get this, um, you know, sh you know, sanded and, and ready for finish. Now, if you'll notice, these rings are a little bit different size. And there's a reason for that. There's a male ring and a female ring. And that's the whole idea behind this. So at any rate, um, I think that this is going to work out really well. So let's go ahead and start with this. We'll just turn this on. And we're just going to simply just start working. Now, this is going to take a little time, but I don't know if you, it's hard to see with my hand in the front of it, but you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just coming in here and just reducing that little lip that's there. And what we don't want to do is put any pressure on any of this as le or as little as possible, um, just for the simple fact that we don't want to um, cause this to crack or break or anything like that, right? So this is one of those things that's just going to take some time. So I won't suffer you through the whole thing, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. All right, so now I'm switching to a little sandpaper, uh, as you can see here, and this is like 80 grit. So we're going to try to start with that and just see if that helps kind of clean up the, the edges. Definitely. Yeah, that's definitely working a lot better. You know, once you get the, uh, the curve going and you get all that bulk off of it, then you can come in with your sandpaper Okay, so here I am finishing up the foot or the bottom of uh, the goblet and creating a little bit of a cove that right before the bottom uh, slopes into the, um, the actual foot. And you'll see the finished piece here in just a few minutes. So stick with me. Okay, so here I'm using an Easy Wood Tools uh, detailer just to get my uh, groove started so that I can part this off and I switch over to my parting tool. So I'm gonna get this parted and we'll put some finish on this and take a look at the finished piece very soon. Stick around. All right, well, we got this goblet completely finished and you can see here we've got our uh, captive rings on there and this Angelique is just really, really beautiful. Uh, let me bring this in here and kind of come up a little closer. I'll do some beauty shots here in a minute, but you can kind of see you know, how the bottom is and you know how this all came out um, this wood is really pretty and um, it finishes really nice there's the inside of it really thin up here at the top you can see how thin that is um, yeah so I think it came out really nice I love the grain on this you can look at the grain here is just really beautiful and um, so yeah this is my um, Angelique goblet that with the ca the captive rings. So I'm real happy with it. I think it came out really good. Um, I'm looking forward to doing some more of this. I actually have another piece of this, so I'm gonna be doing another one and I'll do a little different design on the next one. But uh, hey, go down in the comments, give me a comment. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, give me some feedback on this. You know, these things are a lot of fun. They're very time consuming. I've probably got about four hours in this particular piece, but um, it does take some time to, you know, to shape everything and get it sanded and so on and finish it. So, but uh, at any rate, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please consider uh, subscribing to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of other projects very similar to this. 
and uh, along with a lot of other types of work. So, you know, if you want to check out some of the other work that we're doing, um, I'd love to have you. So with that said, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.